Hi everyone, in this video we'll be exploring the sodium metal test for alcohols. Here are our syllabus dot points. So just to recap, alcohols are particular types of compounds which contain an OH group, also known as a hydroxyl group, that is attached to the carbon atom. Here on the left hand side we have an example of the alcohol ethanol. As you can notice there is a hydroxyl group that is attached to the adjacent carbon. Alcohols can be described as being either primary, secondary or tertiary depending on how many adjacent carbons are bonded to the carbon that's bonded to the hydroxyl. So our example of ethanol here on the left would be classified as a primary alcohol as there is only one adjacent carbon that is bonded to the bound carbon with the hydroxyl group. If there were two separate chains that were attached to the carbon, that would be secondary. And if there were three, that would be tertiary. So here we only have one carbon attached to the adjacent carbon. The sodium metal test is a quick qualitative test, which is used to quickly identify the presence of an alcohol. Looking at our general equation, ROH, with R being the substituent carbon chain, reacts with Na sodium to form hydrogen gas, here H2, and an alkoxide salt, which is the RONA. Looking at our diagram, we can see that ethanol is a representation of ROH, with the R group being the C2H5 and the OH being the OH. We can similarly see the same R group in the sodium ethoxide alkoxide salt. Here is an example of the sodium metal test with propan 2 o We can see that reaction with the ROH group, where R is down C3H7, leads to the formation of a C3H7ONA alkoxide salt. Furthermore, we also have the formation of the hydrogen gas, which is a distinctive characteristic of this reaction. It is important to note that the ease of reaction between the alcohol and the sodium metal would depend on the varying nature of the alcohol, i.e. is a primary, secondary or tertiary, as well as its structure, how bulky it is and whether or not it's branched. The formation of hydrogen gas is tested using the POP test. The POP test is a simple test which detects the production of hydrogen gas. The way that it works is that when hydrogen gas is lit in the presence of oxygen, it will react to form water that produces a squeaky sound. And the reason why the formation of water produces this sound is because it is a highly energetic process. So delta H is large. When we conduct the pop test, a test tube containing the sodium metal and the alcohol will produce H2 gas. While reacting, a thumb or a stopper of some sort will be placed on top of the test tube to prevent the hydrogen gas from escaping. And after a certain period of time, when the reaction has been allowed to occur, we remove the stopper and introduce a burning splint or match to ignite the hydrogen gas. Here we have a reaction between sodium metal and acid. So the reaction here involves ethanoic acid, which is C2H4O2, where the R group in the ROOH is C2H3. And this reaction with sodium leads to the formation again of a carboxylate salt and hydrogen gas. Unfortunately, both acids and alcohols react with sodium to form hydrogen gas. So this test is unable to distinguish between the two substances. Here is a summary of the advantages and disadvantages of using the sodium metal test for alcohols. First, the test is simple and safe to conduct under laboratory settings. Thus, it is also suitable for preliminary testing as it usually yields quick results. Furthermore, also there is no involvement of secondary or side reactions, meaning that there's no chance of interfering with the results when done correctly. The limitations, however, are that sodium is a highly reactive metal and it reacts with multiple different substances. We already saw an example of how sodium can react with different substances, such as when it reacts with either an acid or an alcohol and they both produce hydrogen gas. The problem with this is that we are unable to use the sodium at times to distinguish between different types of substances as many of them will react with sodium. Furthermore, reaction with the alcohol does not provide information on the alcohol's nature, so whether it's primary, secondary, or tertiary. Some alcohols can have difficulty reacting especially if they are bulky. If this is the case, a slow reaction or a non-reaction may cause the production of a false negative result. Hey everyone, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Want even more? Become a Patreon member for early access to videos, exclusive Discord discussions about questions on chemistry and physics, and live preparation sessions for your exams. 
Don't forget to head over to our website for topic tests and practice exams to further improve your understanding and learning.